this government is signed onto the Paris Agreement, so we need to lock into legislation our long-term goal, and that is net zero by 2050. That is what's implied in our Paris Agreement, it's what our states have signed up to. So to, I think it's an insurance policy for the Australian people from maybe the vagaries of this place and political instability, that we actually lock that into legislation to ensure we have certainty and long-term uh, direction of travel. For the coalition, if it is a broad church that enables people to maybe uh, speak out against action on climate change, then those progressives within that broad church need to speak out in support. But they need to do more than just speak, they need to actually carry out with some actions. And if not, their electorates will be very aware. This is as apolitical a legislation as we can make it. This is absolutely a framework. We are not, uh, it's not prescriptive as to how the, the policy that should be implemented. That is up to the minister and the government of the day to deliver to the Australian people those emission reduction budgets and those mitigation plans. call on all members of the community to lobby their members and senators uh, to get out there in the media and with a very loud voice say to members of parliament support this bill. I recently did a survey of my electorate and 80% of my electorate wants me to act on climate change, waste, water, uh, environmental issues are the number one concern. I understand that is replicated in many electorates around the country and we are simply saying let's take the party politics out of climate policy. This is a matter of our safety for the future and let's have a, on principle, a vote.